Hello everyone, my name is Vijanovic and we are going to start recording Elden Ring. Going, I'm pretty sure I'm going to regret this, but let's get it started. The first thing I want to uh, tell you is that this game is a little bit hard. So maybe we start really heavy and find really good stuff first. Like a smithing stone for upgrading our weapon, finding a new weapon. And killing a one dragon to give us a lot of soul to level up. Um, the basic of the classes is first thing doesn't matter if you pick up the mage and middle of the game you see you want to go dexterity you can restart your stats but you know that depends on yourself which class you want the backbone is really good for quality build if you want to play with the weapon between extreme and dexterity you can pick this up but you're going to start with the fat roll so i do recommend to remove one of these weapons from your inventory and warrior is go for dexterity build hero go for dexterity build bandit i don't recommend that that much you have bow but you will start with the dagger astrologer is for intelligent build if you want it um you have a really good weapon and cast prophet for fate and arcane at the same time Samurai is for dexterity, highly recommended if you want to play with dex. You can start with samurai because you are starting with the Uchi Katana at the bow and the bow. Uchi Katana have a effect of um, bleed effect, it's really important. And you can find another Uchi Katana that you can do a Uchi Katana, it's, it's really amazing. Prisoner for a PvP, I don't recommend it on PvE. Confessor is between sword and between dexterity and the fate and the string at the same time this guy couldn't understand what he want to be so he just level up everything ratch i don't recommend it for new players if you are familiar with the elden ring you don't want to start with that i'm going to start with the hero class and i want to choose a string build put my name so on these items that we can uh, we can accept to pick up golden seed is good but i highly recommend to pick up the stone sword key because there's a lot of area we can we are going to find and we need this key but if you think you need golden seed you can pick that up because a stone sword key you can buy from a couple of merchants but if you have it a lot is better than nothing i'm going to skip every cutscene and dialogue because we don't have enough time to you know, see the cutscene and stuff i myself don't decide to start op as hell or not going for two hand if you're on mouse and keyboard you can just hold e and press your mouse key like the left and right but that depends on your build and which weapon you want to hold it in two hand this part of the game is not that much important, you are just going to die to this boss, so don't even try to kill it. We can come back here and loot, there's a door behind us, so it doesn't matter that much. But if you kill this guy, it's going to give you the really really good weapon. The weapon and the shield he is using it, it's going to give you that. Come on, just kill me, what about Come on. Can you kill me? Holy shit, dude. Finally. <laughs> so we're going to die and go for a tutorial cave. Skipping the cutscenes. So you have two potion or flask. One of them is red and the other one is blue. That's you will understand which one of them is for what. Red one give you HP and the blue one give you the FP. That depends on yourself. I highly recommend even if you are a string build or dexterity build, always keep one blue with yourself because you are using your skill. But if you think you don't need that and you don't use your skill that much, just put all of them on heal. 
So on first part and maybe the second, we are going to just find items like a seed and opening the new areas, grace, touch the grace and find a map. Talk to the couple of NPCs, we are not going to kill anything, any bosses or any enemies. Enemy with the shield, you can destroy their guard. If you are two hands, but if you are one hand, it's a little bit hard for you guys. If you are mage, just just don't close to the enemies and just cast that. And roll is 100% dodge. You are not going to take a hit when you roll. If if you do it with good timing, you are not going to take any damage. And backstab enemies, give them the critical damage. The keybind on mouse and keyboard is really weird. And you can jump and attack. And if you see this statue of oh, Marika, that means there is a boss nearby doesn't mean that you have to intern them <laughs> this is tutorial okay that was the jump attack that you can jump with it and use shift and the right click for attacking enemies okay the whole point of this game is that like this you find the boss you try to kill it you can't you go and level up and come back I well, highly recommend if you can't kill a boss, maybe you are on low level or you just have to learn the pattern. We are not going to use our key on this area, we have, but we are not going to use it because we don't belong in this area. Uh, there's a high level shit down there, we don't want to be there. This is for PvP items, and not playing PvP. Uh, there's still a couple of enemies, the red one, they're um, in invalid, I guess, something like this. The first area, Limgrave. See that golden horse? You're not going to kill that guy. That's a trap. It's a 100% trap. This, uh, this is a still a PvP item, but. Come to the this guy pick the all dialogue and tell this guy it's tired as fuck and my settings are something that i just like it if you want to copy my setting you can do that this is a setting i'm really really love it doesn't cost you that much um CPU rendering or losing FPS, but still you can see everything. Now I highly recommend at least bring shadow down because there is a lot of cave in this game that you need to see what's happening. <laughs> Just don't want to see the darkness. And beside that, motion below is bullshit. Don't have it. So first church, the first NPC or the merchant. To talk to it. But I can also let you know. Then why and to I buy am one item from it. That was the reason we go to tutorial to that buy. we have enough rooms to buy this item. We still can't buy the torch, but we're going to eventually buy the lantern, and lantern is really better. We need to come back here, but first we're going to take the, uh, get our mount, talk to Melina. And when you're walking, just pick up every material you see. Around here there is a cave, you are going to come back here and... Later on, not on this part. This part, I say, I just want to give you a couple of items that make it easy again for you. 
if you see my uh, walkthroughs you see in lies of p or any other souls game like lord of the fallen dark souls always try to make the game easier not harder you know it's exactly like this but before we talk to melina let's come here and pick up uh pick up a map some of these enemies have horn they can alert everyone usually focus on those and uh, there is a really good balance weapon on this that you need a 10 dexterity or no 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 yes yes 10 dexterity and i don't know maybe 40 or 16 a string if you are balanced speed i highly recommend to use that she's going to ask you that have you heard Asa? offer help but you I'm going to I accept that the turning rune to aid you you need her to the foot then accept accept. summon me ah i bequeath and we get the Use item it. for it mount treat him with okay, i'm going to treat them with the respect and work okay? so we're going to put it on Punch, I guess. Okay, you have to hold E and press 2 to activate this. Uh, I troll try to kill you, so I'd recommend sure to don't take damage from anyone in here. Yes. Um, I was thinking that. I guide you to become a really really OP. I mean, there is a dragon. If we kill it, you're going to uh, get five heart dragon. That's really awesome. And beside that, you're going to take, you're going to get a lot of souls that allow or, or runes that allow you to level up between 15 or 20 level the early of the game, and, and that's really amazing. I don't know, I was thinking maybe I'd do that. Maybe in the next part. So that's uh, the stone wind key, I guess. Stone sword key, okay. Let's talk to this NPC. Um, she's going to give us a new emote, and beside that, going to give you the summon. Oh, I forgot I meant to talk to you. That's a summon. We're about to talk to the other girl. It was the item for summon. But no problem, we can go fast travel and come back here again. Okay, come to this church, church of the left. We're going to talk to this lady, going to give us a one item and one summon. The jelly paste summon is really good. Um, tank summon, and we need it for a quest item. I highly recommend to get that. I was by for so when you have this build, you can equip it and use it Forgive. in some places. Not everywhere, but some point of the games you can use that. So let's just fast travel to the storm field shack. Okay. Just gonna put it in here. Yeah, let's go from here. There is a, a close to the gate, upper than Wild Strike or the name of our skill on our weapon. There is a gate at kind of like Ghost Gate. When you see that, that means uh, you can summon enemies in this area. But we are not seeing this. That means we can't summon any enemies in here. Okay. Not you. Names Let's talk to this NPC. Yes, this guy have a really good Ash of War. I love the game. If you, if you think yeah, it takes me back. Um, you like them, you can buy that from it. And killing this guy give you the really really solid weapon but i don't recommend to kill this guy right now because at some point of the game um, he's going to help us 
and we kind of need that help. So let's come here and get the aggro from one of these trolls. Destroy this statue because there's a good material on it that we can level up our weapon. After all of this, you are going to get a uh, weapon to the plus four. Pick this up. And pick this up. Should be a boss around here, but don't want to fight with it. So just want to avoid that. You can see that ghost and gate on the screen right now that means we can um, summon it's cost to the fp and it's cost a lot of fp so i don't hardly recommend it to just don't use it randomly can you hear me? Help me. it's a big jar or alexandra i love this npc a lot we're going to talk to him and help them to get out of this place he's stuck to the four attack and he's getting out it's help you in a lot of bosses and give you the really good talisman. Okay. Stay here for now. Yeah, we have enough time, so let's go run. Just don't need to fight with this guy is not that much important at least not now we're going to kill it but not now pick up the smithiness zone and the the limb grave should be an npc around here if you see any npcs like a merchant always talk to them and remember where they are standing this guy doesn't have that much good stuff that we want to buy but maybe later on not now. don't have enough soul you know Okay, this guy. Turn back. Eventually, we are going to see all of these guys on hop. Hop in the main place that we can go and upgrade our Ash of War. Not the Ash of War, uh, upgrade our summons or our weapons or do a lot of stuff. Okay, this guy is a boss. Down there, you can see it. It's kind of like a Sharon, but we don't want to fight it. If you see any skeleton like this, they are shiny. Just pick them up. They're golden runes. First, you have to broke them with your mount, and then you can pick it up. We're coming here for our first talisman and increase your stamina recovery. Doesn't matter which build you you're going to have, dexterity or string. Eventually, you're going to use this talisman a lot. These turtles are good for flesh, but they are not good for soul. So don't waste your time on these guys. I'm just going to equip this. You can see stamina recovery speed, and I highly recommend to have this. Okay, let's see. Huh. Yes, kind of forgot about something. It's back to this place. No, 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 that wasn't here. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking maybe I lose something. But nope. Everything's good. Let's head back to the place we've been there. Those enemies are counted as scrap or teardropper. The red one just going to refuel your healing item. And the white one actually give you an ash of war that was a place i was thinking i forgot about it going to pick up these golden runes 
if you think you need them you can just use them and give you the rooms you can level up but i highly recommend to keep them for another time because we're going to kill a dragon that's give us a lot of um runes and beside that i'm going to show you one farming method that you can farm a lot of runes i'm not saying you have to farm a lot of it if you hear that sound that means that sure dropper or scrapper it's around here you're going to kill it with a really good astro bar. Okay, okay, dude. Just don't vanish. Even if they vanish, you can just come back. You sit there, you just come back and destroy them. Ash of War is really amazing. Give you the buff, the holy buff. That you can kill skeletons with just one attack. Or. Because skeletons can revive and come back and you kill them. But if you kill them with holy damage or anything like this, they're not going to be thrown back. We're going to see them on caves and we get the mix potion. What is mix potion? There's a couple of tr crystal tiers in these games that you can mix it with this potion. It's only usable one time. And if you want to use it, you have to restart the area. Let's see, mix potion. We only have this that's going to um, restore half of the total HP that we have. But we're going to talk, we're going to find a couple of them that one of them is a uh, give you the bubble. Spoken words, if and you, you can take one hit, one free hit. Very well, my lord. With thine, he will wait well. Okay, so we talk to him. Just gonna get up. And there's a portal in here it's going to bring us in another place that. Clearly, we don't belong there because enemies are hard level. But as I told you, we are just going to open some areas, find the stuff, talk to NPCs and stuff on the first part and the second part. Maybe even third part, I'm not really sure. That depends. Okay, this guy. Uh, this NPC, if you bring them uh, death rooms, he give you the item and he has to actually have a quest line. We're going to complete them and then we fight with them. Don't try to interact or attack anyone in this area. It's not just worth it because they can one attack us. Pick up that golden seed. Touch the grace. Melina should come here and give us offer to bring us to the hub. And this is the place that we are going to kill that dragon, and I show you this far. Yes, we want to go to the hub. But we are not going to do anything there. We just want to open the that area. We can fast travel to that place every time we want. For now, we are good. Just need to come back to this area. Okay, everything is uh, good in here. We can continue our journey in the next part. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a good day and see you soon in the next part. Peace out.